I'm Thomas Rinkiel. I teach at Marywood. Thomas Harinke was a world-renowned pianist from Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania that has traveled the world playing many major concerts. His career began at a very young age and is still thriving today. Mr. Harinke sat down with us and shared his most memorable life stories and experiences. I started playing when I was about eight and a half, nine years old. So I um, was playing the piano early on in life, and then they would take me from grammar school to middle school to high school, so I was always ahead of myself musically, and then even then, I'd be playing shows at the Little Theater. So I was born in Wilkes-Barre, actually. From the time I grew up, there's a huge musical and cultural community here. Mr. Harinke was given a prestigious offer to pursue his education after high school, but wanted to remain local. I was. Um, invited to go to Juilliard when I was 15, but I never wanted to leave here. <laughs> and I graduated from Wilkes. Everybody insisted I move on. So I finally got to New York and got a master's at Manhattan School of Music with a great teacher there. And from there, they pushed me into, into competitions and then that took me to Europe and uh, it's just been ongoing. So how did Mr. Harinkyu get not only his foot in the door, but in concert halls around the world? I went to Boston and I played um, for the BB Foundation and there they gave me this money and they said you can go live in Europe for a year or go make your debut. My teacher in New York said go make your debut. So I went to Berlin and London and Amsterdam and Hague. I had really beautiful reviews from there and then got a gold medal in Geneva competition and then came back to New York. For such an achieved musician, Mr. Harinkyu's early childhood and family life was surprisingly relatable. My grandparents all came from Ukraine. My parents met singing in the choir and church. Beautiful music was playing throughout the home constantly from many different family members. My father could read music and, and my mother played some piano and they said if you want lessons, we will give you all lessons. My older brother played classical accordion and he was on the Ed Sullivan Show twice playing. Mr. Harinkyu explains his close-knit family values from back in the day. You had family dinner and you went on picnics on Sunday and you never missed church, no matter what. But it was great. It was a beautiful family life. Mr. Harinkyu was gifted not only in playing music, but teaching it as well. Uh, one girl finally said to me, you're the only one who's helping me. My voice hurts, but when you tell me to do things, it doesn't. So then I began a, a career in vocal teaching. In three years, I had somebody in Carnegie and people on Broadway. After accomplishing so much already, what is there left for Mr. Hernkew to do? I play a lot of solos, and I'm doing a big uh, solo recording project, Ukrainian music. Never been done, it's historical. I still travel and play concerts and the recording projects. So, what brought Mr. Hernkew to Marywood? Then I got a call because one of the sisters was retiring from the piano department. And so I was called and said, would I want to come out and teach? I said, I'd be happy to do that. Well, I only teach piano up there privately. And occasionally I brought in a singer or two. And of course, they always get the solos then. <laughs> Even though it was no secret, we thought we would ask Mr. Harinkyu what his favorite instrument is to play. Oh, I love the piano. I just love it. I mean, it's, it has everything, you know, it has polyphony, it has texture, it has colors. Mr. Harinkyu has an exciting, one-of-a-kind opportunity in Washington, D.C. that is near and dear to his heart and heritage. I was to play at the National Gallery. For the first time, they're having a Ukrainian film festival and art show at the National Gallery. They said, would you include a Ukrainian work in your program, which I always do. I'm, I'm very loyal to my heritage. If you know the Ukrainian history, it's had a not a very pretty one all the time. People were put in prison, music burned. I mean, you know, it's just, there's a long history of that. Before that, under the czars, too. So no one knows these composers. They don't know the music. They don't know the literature. I just have felt obligated, and it's beautiful music. And I thought, if I don't do it, they're not going to know about it. Why remain in the northeastern Pennsylvania area? I'm recording locally. I mean, that's why I'm back here. I believe in supporting local people, and I'm, I'm recording there, which is very convenient for me. 
So I just drive up to Old Forge when I want to. Mr. Harinkyu shared with us his philosophy on art and his impact on others. I think, I think what art does, and musicians to anyone, is that you give to people. People who study with me never forget me. They always come back and they always were in touch. They even promised to take care of me when I get old. For me, life has always happened. Thomas Harinkyu continues traveling the world playing his beautiful music for all to enjoy to this day and living his life by following his own personal philosophy. And I said, you know, but when you leave the world, would it be a better place that after you've been here, what have you given?